Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from a developer who's working with FFmpeg in Python. They want to create a video from a list of Base64 encoded images, but instead of saving the output to a file, they want to capture it directly into a Python variable. Let's dive into the details of their challenge and explore how to achieve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To achieve piping both input and output with FFmpeg in Python, we need to modify the command we use to call FFmpeg. Let's start by setting up the command for outputting to a pipe. In this command, we specify the output format as MP4 and direct the output to pipe1. This tells FFmpeg to send the output to standard output instead of a file. Next, we need to adjust the subprocess call to capture the output. We'll set std out to subprocess.pipe to allow us to read the output directly into a variable. Finally, after sending all the images to FFmpeg, we should close the input stream and wait for the process to finish. This ensures that we have all the video data captured. Now you can use the video data variable as needed, such as saving it to a file or streaming it. This approach allows you to work with video data directly in memory without saving it to disk. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When using FFmpeg with pipes, you need to specify the output format explicitly. Since FFmpeg determines the output format based on the file extension, and there is none when piping, you should add das f followed by image to pipe before the output. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To pipe both input and output with FFmpeg in Python, you should use the communicate method after starting the process. This allows you to interact with the open process. After communicating with the process, you can print the output to verify that it worked correctly. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. <laughs>